morning, boys and girls. I'm so glad you're here because I've got a great story to share with you. But it starts off in kind of a rough place. Once upon a time, there was a woman named Naomi, and she was married and had two sons who were also married to women named Orpah and Ruth. But sadly, one day, her husband got sick and passed away. And then the same thing happened to her two sons, so that all she was left with were her daughters-in-law, Orpah and Ruth. And back in this time, that left the ladies with very little. And then on top of that, a famine came over the land, so times were really tough. So one day, Naomi said to Orpah and Ruth, Girls, I've been thinking. Maybe things would be easier for us if we went to where my family is from. I may still have relatives there still. Let's go there. So they packed up all of their belongings and began their journey. It was a long, dusty walk. Plod, plod, plod step after step, mile after mile. And once they reached the halfway point, Naomi turned to the ladies that she was journeying with and said, Girls, I'm only your mother-in-law. You should go back to your own mothers and live with your own family. But we, we don't, don't want to go. We, we want to stay, stay with, with you. you. This doesn't make any sense. You should go back and start your lives over while you're still young. I'm old and won't be able to give you the lives that you want. <laughs> Orpah cried. She dried the tears from her face and turned and headed toward home. But Ruth stayed. I am not leaving you. I will go where you go. I will live where you live. Your people will be my people. And your God will be my God. You see, Ruth loved Naomi no matter what. A lot like how God loves each of us no matter what. But their troubles were far from over. You see, they were still extremely poor and they couldn't afford any food to eat. So Ruth took it upon herself to try to take care of them. So she said to Naomi, I'm going to go to a nearby field and pick up the leftover grain so that we may have something to eat. And hopefully I can meet someone that will help us. In the field, Ruth walked behind the people who were harvesting the grain and picked up the leftovers for herself and Naomi. In the evenings, she would grind the grain into flour and use it to make bread so they could eat. Ruth worked so very hard. Now, Ruth didn't know it, but she had picked a field that belonged to a very rich man named Boaz. Boaz was also one of Naomi's relatives. When Boaz saw Ruth, he asked, Boy, who's that young woman over there picking up leftovers? The servant who was in charge of all the workers told Boaz that Ruth wasn't from here and that she had come with Naomi and that she had asked to pick up the leftover grain that they were leaving behind. They even told Boaz how hard Ruth was working. Boaz was very impressed and wanted to take care of Naomi and Ruth. So he told her, You may start to work in the fields with the other women. If you ever feel tired or thirsty, please stop and take a break and get some water. And Ruth, in response to this, she was shocked that someone was being so nice to her. And she asked, Why are you being so kind to me? I have heard how hard you've worked and how kind you've been to Naomi. I have a feeling that God must be very proud of you and I would like to help you. So Boaz looked over Naomi and Ruth and took care of them. And Ruth was able to take all of the grain that herself and Naomi could eat. Ruth is someone we should all aspire to be, someone who is hardworking, loyal, and kind and loving. Perhaps there's something you can learn from this story. And I can't wait to tell you about the next story in which we talk about the great battle that occurs in the city of Jericho. And you won't believe what happens. But that'll have to wait till next time. Can't wait to tell you then. Thank you.